Wet rooms are fast becoming a major influence in the design of bathrooms across the UK. Until recently, the creation of a wet room was often viewed as impractical, or at the very best, extremely complicated. At IMPI UK, we have strived to simplify the creation of a wet room by addressing the three main issues confronted by the installer. Drainage, gradient, and of course, waterproofing. And with the AquaDeck system, we have a simple yet very effective solution to all three, suitable for use in either a concrete or a timber floor. How the system works. This installation you are about to see is typical of a timber floor. The working area will need to be clean and free from dirt and dust in order to work efficiently. Once you have determined in which corner of the room you wish the AquaDeck to be installed, you can place it in position and carefully mark around the outside. After clearly marking this area, the AquaDeck is then put to one side then carefully cut along the line you've drawn. Here we are using a circular saw set at the depth of the floorboards. The floorboards are now removed, leaving a space to accommodate the AquaDeck. It is very important to support the AquaDeck on all four edges with the use of noggins. These noggins also act as fixing points later in the installation. The drainage is now ready to be installed. In this installation, we are using a horizontal gully. However, alternative drainage options are available. To install the gully correctly, the waste pipe and the trap need to be accurately positioned in order to align with the aperture in the aqua deck. Here, a hole is drilled through a noggin and the waste pipe is then pushed through and coated with solvent weld cement. The reducer and the trap are also both coated and connected to form a good seal. It is critical the shower trap aligns with the centre of the AquaDeck aperture before continuing any further. The AquaDeck should always be installed completely level on all four sides. To do this, take a spirit level and check that the top of the joists are level. The performance of the AquaDeck is critically determined on the accuracy of these levels. As you can see, we have installed battens in between the joists in readiness for an 18mm plywood base. The base must be fixed securely to the battens below in order to provide a solid platform on which to site the AquaDeck. Notice the large hole in the base. This is to allow access to the trap. Place the AquaDeck onto the newly formed platform and check that the trap aligns with the center of the waste aperture. Then drill and screw the AquaDeck in position using the screws provided. Should the pre-countersunk locations be inconvenient, the AquaDeck can be drilled anywhere along its surface. One final check should now be completed to make sure that the AquaDeck is level on all four sides. Position the undrilled base of the gully into the AquaDeck aperture and drill a 50 mm hole using a hole saw. Remove the dip tube from the trap. The trap now needs to be sealed to the gully base. This is achieved by the use of the tool provided, which helps tighten the two parts together. The dip tube can now be replaced. Now fix the gully base by drilling and securing it to the aqua deck using the self-tapping screws provided. Now the installation of the AquaDeck is complete, the gradient of the wet room has been successfully installed. The MP tile safe membrane is next, which will waterproof the wet room prior to tiling. Tile safe installation. Before starting the tile safe installation, check all the working surfaces are clean and dry. Once the primer has been thoroughly mixed, it is liberally brushed or rolled onto the surfaces and left to fully dry. The average drying time is about 30 minutes. Firstly, the corners need to be dressed. Carefully cut a strip of joint tape to about 300 millimeters and fold in half to form a seam. 
The backing paper must then be cut carefully, ensuring not to cut into the reinforcing tape. Fold in half, halfway through its width. Then fold twice, ensuring the edges are even and peel the back off the paper. Then place in the corner of the room, pressing firmly until it has bonded to the wall. Then peel the paper from the first front section and press firmly onto the floor. The protection film is then removed and this operation repeated on the remaining piece which, once completed, creates a sound overlap joint. The edging strips can then be applied, making sure there's a 75mm overlap onto the corner section. It may be helpful to cut these strips into short, manageable lengths of about a metre each. The second edging strip can then be installed in the same fashion, measuring accurately the 75mm overlap. Then, once the backing paper has been removed, press firmly until there's a good bond. Once the tape has been applied to all the edges, the remaining floor is fitted with horizontal strips of joint tape, applied to the floor at one metre intervals, making a type of grid. These strips are just butted up against the corner strips and rolled out, but at the same time, peeling off the backing paper, pressing down as you go to form a strong bond. Once completed, the main roll can be placed against the wall, with the edge butted tightly into the corner of the wall. Unroll whilst peeling back the backing paper, making sure the tile safe is evenly bonded to the floor. Check the installation, making sure the area is smooth and flat. The next stage is to cut out the hole for the waste. Cut across in the tile safe with a sharp knife and then cut a circle using the knife's edge around the base of the trap. Once this has been removed, the tile safe needs to be dressed into the circular channel of the trap. The trap fittings can then be fitted accordingly. The joint compound provided is now applied to all corners and joints around the gully. If you have any pipework that penetrates the membrane, you will need to seal around the pipe using the putty provided. Please note, should any minor damage occur to the tile-safe membrane during the installation, it can be rectified using the repair putty supplied. The area is now ready for tiling. Once this has been done, the installation of your wet room is complete. Fitting the screens. If you are using screens, they are now ready to be installed. The impi range of Cascade wet room screens are specially designed to ensure that no fixings penetrate the waterproof membrane. Mark the wall where the screens are to be fitted, using packers supplied to define the correct height. Once marked and drilled, secure the profiles to the walls. The glass panels can then be located into the channel of the fixed profiles. Define the foot position on the floor, marking the location of the cup plate. The unique design of the cup plate ensures that it requires no drilling and fixing through the membrane. The hole is drilled only to a depth of approximately 4 mm. With the cup plate fitted in position, install the screen by locating the ball joint into the cup. Adjust until glass screen is upright. The cup and ball joint gives horizontal and vertical movement, allowing correct seating on the base. Finally, cut and fix the tie bars to the wall and screens.